glad to be back with you. Got a simple statics problem today in which we're going to find the tension in a cable. Um, if you see signs like this out a lot, you know, if you're driving around or walking around, you'll often see signs where there's a post coming out, maybe a pivot there, and then there's a cable or sometimes a string or a chain or something right there. I'll call it a cable. But the point is, this is remember the, one of the, the most important things in statics right now. You can't push a rope, can't push a cable. That has to be intention. And so that's set so its intention is supporting the weight of this sign. Well, we know that's intention, but how much tension exactly? It would be good to know. And certainly this is something we can figure out using statics. So I've, I've uh, made up a little sign here, and I've given it some dimensions that uh, cables at a 45 degree angle, and the weight of the sign is 50 newtons. So if you're, if you're a little uncomfortable with metric units, number one, you should get comfortable with metric units, but if you want this in pounds, it's in the neighborhood of 10 or 11 pounds. Um, so I've got my coordinate system there, positive x, positive y, and positive rotation. So positive rotation is in the counterclockwise direction. Now when we do statics problem, we use GFSA format. That means given, okay, we've got all this stuff that's given in the problem, then find. What is it we're trying to solve for? Without a find, you don't have a problem. So let's find the tension in the cable. Tension is T. Okay. And the next thing is solve or solution, depending on how your instructor wants you to do this. I'll write down solution here. Of course, do what your instructor says. If I differ from your instructor, do what your instructor says, because I'm not giving you a grade and your instructor is. Okay, so when you're doing a uh, when doing solution, anytime you're doing a statics problem, if you're looking at trying, starting on the solution, you probably are going to be starting with a free body diagram. If you're not starting with a free body diagram, you better have a darn good reason, and there aren't many. So let's start with the free body diagram. Okay, make sure I'm going to stay in frame here. Okay, I'm good. Um, now there's lots of free body diagrams I could draw here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a free body diagram of this horizontal bar. Now the way I decided to do that is I worked the problem a couple of different ways before I turned the video camera on. If you decide to do this problem a different way, or if you did before you saw this video, and you still get the right answer through some legitimate means, you know, you haven't made any mistakes or haven't used faulty logic, that's fine. I'm doing this the way I'm doing it because it looks like it's probably the cleanest way to uh, solve the problem. But I tried a couple different things before I came to this. So you didn't see that part here. If you go through that part and I don't, that's okay. All right, as long as you get the right answer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw that horizontal bar, okay, I'm going to just cut that out of the structure. Now, if I cut it out of the structure, I have to account for all the forces that are acting on it, either external forces like from the uh, sign here or reaction forces from the structure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start labeling these. Now, I've got the points labeled A, B, and C here. I'm going to call this BX and BY. Those are the reaction forces of this pivot right here from being hooked to the post. And there's a cable here. Well, the, 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 the cable goes up at a 45 degree angle. But I'm going to break that into the horizontal and the vertical components. So I'll call that AY. And I'm going to put AX that way. Now, if I get the wrong directions on here, if I guess wrong, um, all that's going to happen is the forces are going to come out negative when I solve for them. Well, I already know that's a cable. It has to be in tension. You can't push a rope, right? So. Okay, the tension has to be going up that way, so I know that AY and AX better be in those directions. If for some reason I was wrong, again, those, those signs would come out negative. I'm not wrong on this one. Now, I've got two places where that sign is hung from this post, so there's two forces down. Now, I'm assuming that this sign is uniform. It's made out of a plate of metal or wood or something. And so half the weight comes down on each of those connectors. So I'm going to call that 25 newtons right there and right about here, that's going to be 25 newtons. And I've got dimensions for all those, so I know that distance and that distance. All the distances I need to know I can find. So I'm going to call that uh, part one of the solution. Now, what's part two of the solution? Part two is going to be drawing, writing out, I should say, equations of equilibrium. I wish they had a shorter name, huh? Okay, I'm calling those equations of equilibrium. This structure has to be in static equilibrium. It's statics. That's the whole point. If this, the forces and the moments didn't all cancel out, if they didn't all add up to zero, what I would have is a net force and a structure that's accelerating. Well, some structures do accelerate. 
Um, the day I'm shooting this is the day after the uh, Curiosity uh, rover landed on Mars. Well, clearly there was a lot of accelerations on that structure. This isn't a rocket. This thing had better be still, right? So all the forces in the moment have to equal zero. No accelerations. So I can do this in a couple of ways. Um, I know that the sum of the forces in the y direction have to be zero. I know that the sum of the forces in the x direction have to be zero. And I know that the sum of the moments have to be zero. Well, which of those do I use? I could write them all, and you certainly can, but here's the thing. I don't care what bx and by are, do I? Now, if I was designing this, yeah, I'd care, but in the, in the context of this problem, the only thing I really need to know is tension. If I had bx and by, I wouldn't do anything with them. And I don't need to know ax and ay both. I know the angle of this, this uh, cable. So as long as I know one or the other of those, I can figure out the tension using a force triangle. So, let's say I only really need to know a y. Well, if I sum the moments about b, that's the only one of the unknowns that has a moment arm on it. There's zero there, zero moment arm there and there, because those go right through the point, and zero moment arm there, because that's aligned with my point as well. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sum the moments around point b, and those all, of course, have to equal zero, like we said, or else the structure's not static, it's accelerating. We don't want that. So let's do this. Let's start writing out all the moments. And there's only, only going to be three we care about. The moments from those two forces from the sign hanging, and then this reaction force on the cable AY. So let's do that. Well, it's 0.1 uh, meters to there, so that's going to be 25 newtons times 0 0.1 meters. Now, positive or negative? That force is acting, um, it's going to make this want to rotate in a clockwise manner. Well, that's counter to my uh, assume positive sign convention, so that's going to be minus. Right, let's do this other one here, that's also going to be minus. And let's do these in the same order. Okay, minus 25 newtons times, now it's 0 0.7 meters. Okay, and I've got one more, I've got that force up. Well, that's going to give me a positive moment. And can I keep that in the frame? Yeah, I guess I can. Um, plus, 0. Point, is it 3? You know, see, that's 0. 0.4 there, so that's going to be 0. 0.3 meters times Ty. Well, I don't know what Ty is, so I'm just going to leave it there. And the units will take care of themselves. So let's, see, let's start putting some numbers in there. That's minus 2.5 newton meters minus, uh, is it 17? Yeah, 17.5 newton meters, sorry. Newton meters plus 0 0.3 meters times Ty. All right, so if I work all that, this is really nice here because I know it equals zero. I've got one equation, and I've only got one unknown. The only thing I don't know is Ty. So if you work all that out, you find out that Ty equals 20 over 0 0.3, uh, and that's in newtons. Now, I could, I could crank that out here in a second, but if you work it out by hand, that's what you get. Okay, so I got that. The last thing I need now, and I'm going to erase this just because I need the real estate. The last thing I need to know is, what's my tension? Well, let's see. I know the vertical component in a force triangle, so I know that's 20 over 0 0.3. I don't know what that is. That's Tx, and that's T. That's 45. I'll get my head out of your way here in a second. There we go. So there's T. There's my vertical component. That's Ty. All right, and there's Tx and 45. Well, I don't even need to figure out Tx, but I do know, let's see, if that's 45 degrees, Ty over T must be the cosine of 45. So Ty over T cosine 45, or T equals Ty over cosine 45 degrees. Okay, and how am I doing? Oh, I'm doing fine here. So let's put some numbers in there. Now remember, cosine 45 is a square root of 2 over 2. So let's see, I'm going to put 20 over 0 0.3 times square root of 2 in the new denominator now, and that in the numerator. And if I work this all out, I'm going to find out that t equals, okay, 94.281 Newtons, okay? Now, notice that's a lot more than the weight of the sign. Well, sure, 
it's not sticking out there very far. There's a big moment there and a smaller one there. I'm going to get my head out of your way. Big moment arm on the sign there and a small moment arm there. So sure, you would expect that. And it's at an angle too, so that makes the, the tension in the cable higher. So that looks like a pretty plausible answer. Okay? It may not be exactly the right answer, but it looks reasonable. All right, so the last thing I've got to do here is I've got to say give and find solution. I've done those. Answer. So the last thing I'm going to do is write answer. Not very good handwriting, I'm afraid. 94.281 newtons. Put a box around that, and I'm done. So let's think about what we've done. We've gone through GFSA format, given, find, solution, answer. Let's see, we started with our given, drew that, decided to find tension, did a free body diagram, equations of equilibrium, and solved for solved the force triangle to find tension. All right. Hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.